What's up everyone, MK here and in this video, we'll learn to use the most popular navigation app called Google Maps. So let's get into it. This is how it looks when you first open it. Its interface is crowded with places. This icon is for the map type. Here you can enable this satellite view that will show the map as it is. You can also enable the train view which is helpful in the hilly and mountain areas. Then we have some map details. You can activate the public transport to see the public transport routes, traffic to see the traffic on roads, cycling, 3D and street view. Those two details are location dependent. You can see bushfires close by and the air quality. It's showing good here so the quality is good. It also has some quick searches on the top. Usually it shows results near your location but our location is turned off right now. So it is showing the results where the map view is. Let's see how to check and download offline maps. You'll click on profile and then on this option. Here are the downloaded maps. You can download a new map by clicking here. Zoom in and out to select the area to download. Offline maps expire after a certain time. So it's essential to update them from this menu. You can go offline by enabling this Wi-Fi only option or just turn off the mobile data and Google Maps will automatically work offline in the downloaded area. Next are the navigation settings. All the navigation settings are here. You can mute the maps completely, turn on just the alerts or use turn by turn navigation. Also Google Maps can adjust its tone according to your style. We have the voice language and some other options here that may be beneficial in your situation. We also have the day and night modes, distance units, speed limit and speedometer. You can voice search from here or type in the keyword in the search bar. Google Maps is amazing when it comes to businesses. You can see their number, website, business hours, photos, reviews, updates, popular times, public transport routes and Q&As. To navigate to that place, we click on this direction button. The app also supports street view in many countries. Tap on this view and you will see what it looks like. You can use those arrows to move from place to place. Alright, now we have the location turned on. This blue dot is your location. To go somewhere, tap on this button and put in the address. However, we'll search for something on the top. Let's search for JB Hi-Fi Marion. We can see the location on the map. To navigate there, there are two options. You will see a directions button here. You can also start the navigation by tapping the start button. In the route overview, you have a few options. Your last used transport mode will always be active here. The public transport mode is here that shows all the public transport options. The list here is sorted by the best route. The man icon here indicates the total number of minutes you will be walking before reaching the bus. And after leaving the bus, you will be walking this much time to get to the location. You can set the departure and arrival times to schedule trips. Tap on one to see the route bus stops, times and other data. In some regions, Google Maps is integrated with the public transport network. So we see the live bus locations. Also, the time is the estimated live time. If Google Maps does not support live location in your region, you will see the generic times here. We also have those modes. Let's go back to driving and start the navigation. I'm going to start navigation and drive my car. You will see the total navigation time, distance and the arrival time here. If you take a different route, Google Maps will readjust the navigation. All you have to do is follow this blue line. If it goes left, you go left. And if it goes right, you go right. Google Maps also shows the vehicle speed. You will see it here. Also, in some locations, it supports the road limit and if you exceed it, it will give a warning. Google Maps supports reporting incidents like Waze. 
you can tap here to see the supported options. If you report something here, Google Maps will warn others traveling through this road. You can also switch the voice mode to no voice, alerts only and turn by turn navigation. Adding a stop is possible from this search menu. Search for something along the way and choose the place. And the map will adjust times and routes accordingly. When you arrive at the stop, you will see a continue navigation button. You can scroll up to see more trip options. The trip progress can be shared and you can see the road traffic with this option. While navigating, you will see the road turning yellow and red. This shows the traffic on your route. Yellow means medium and red means heavy traffic. Heavy traffic at traffic lights is expected. You will also see alternative routes with the adjusted ETA. For example here, we can take this route as well by tapping on it. Let's move to some other features. You can tap here or say the term to activate the assistant. When the navigation is on, Google Maps enables Do Not Disturb. You will still get messages and calls, but they'll be controlled by Google Maps. You can make calls, send messages and play media from this section. Let's see what happens when you get a call. When you do, you will see it here. Also, Google Maps will inform you about this call and ask you to pick it up. You can say yes or no. Lastly, when you arrive at the destination, you see this screen. You can provide feedback if you like. Okay, there's more to Google Maps, but this video focused on the navigation. I hope it helped. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Take care.